何十年経っても町は再建され続けてる Prepare yourself, Dan Sand. Kame Arts is a very talented artist. He's the one that created all those Goku and Vegeta versus Moro animations a few years back. <laughs> Now, after a long hiatus, he has finally returned and he is here with a brand new Dragon Ball fan animation series. This one is called Dragon Ball A Tale in the Future. We got the official trailer 2023 coming to you guys next. This story, as you can see right here by the thumbnail, looks like it's centered around Trunks. It's not Blue Boy Trunks, guys. It is OG Future Trunks. At least that's what it looks like from the thumbnail. And it says Tale in the Future. So this is going to be, I think, a Dragon Ball fan animation based in the future of Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball story that we know now. Let's jump in and see exactly what Kame Arts has in store for us. ある日、いつもと同じように。So first and foremost, I'm trying to gauge exactly what timeline we're in, and it looks like we may be actually in our timeline in the future. Something happens where Goku is involved. You see him with the Kamehameha right in the beginning, and you see a destroyed city. The character that looks like Trunks in the trailer is commenting about how people are still rebuilding their lives and struggling to deal with the past, meaning that whatever happened had laid waste to the earth and to the planet, which is actually a cool concept that no matter what ends up happening in any timeline, the earth always gets decimated like the androids, but what decimated this planet? The main character seems to blame himself for the calamity that has befallen, or at least the lack of recovery. I mean, he does say that there was hardly any recovery when it came to trying to fix. What had happened on the planet, so you can see an overgrown martial arts stadium. Looks like this is far off into the future, way further than we've ever gone before. And you can't fool me, Kame Arts. This song is the Speed Force song from the Snyder Cut of the Justice League. It is by far not only one of my favorite songs from the DCEU, but also it is my favorite moment from that movie. You thought you were slick, but I caught you. どうせ過去は変えられないそのツールはもうこの時代には存在しないこの世界は次元爆弾のようなものだ The main character says that this world is a ticking time bomb. That this is something that you cannot go back in time to fix when it's showing us that there is a time machine right there. And then it goes straight to the original Z squad, the ones from Dragon Ball, that you can't go back and I'm assuming get them all back. I'm assuming they're all, they've all been gone a very long time. And the heroes of the world. Are not there anymore, and maybe our main character blames himself for this because he should have been doing more.
彼らは無意味に私をタイと呼ばなかった Alright, so this is a brand new character, Tai Briefs. It could be the son of Trunks, is what I'm assuming, or maybe. Maybe one of the sons of Vegeta. I have to look deeper into this because when I got this trailer, I skipped to the trailer part. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so it looks like after seeing the intro portion, which I skipped over that because I didn't want to know anything going into this trailer, he explains what the story is about. Kame Arts says that this is the story of the grandson of Trunks, meaning that not even just his son, but The, the that son, so that could possibly be 50 years plus from the original timeline, but still in the same timeline. He says it's not going to be like what we've seen from Dragon Ball stories thus far, meaning to me that maybe we'll get some sort of detective story, adventure, political thriller, something along those lines where this guy is going to get involved a little bit more deeply in the recovery project of Earth. And delving deep into exactly what ended up happening to the planet in the first place. Again, in the beginning of this, we see that Goku is fighting against someone and then the Earth is destroyed. So, with that premise, that initial scene, it seems like this guy doesn't know anything about what happened in the past and it could possibly have been Goku's fault. At the end of the day, I love this. I can't wait for the entire animation to come out. It's coming in 2023, so this year is already looking up. There's going to be Black Scape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content. Oh, perish.